February is American Heart Month and about one in four deaths are caused by heart disease. It is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. But listen to this. 80% of these cases may be prevented through education and healthy lifestyle. Joining me today to talk a little bit more about all of this, Karen Hill Meyer. She is joining us to talk about her experience with heart disease and you are kind of a different case. You were diagnosed at a really young age, just 25. Yes, and actually I had congenital heart disease, so I've had it my whole life. Life, but I was misdiagnosed until I was 25. So what led you to that diagnosis? So I'd been misdiagnosed all through college with an anxiety disorder and then when I was 25 years old I was rushed to the emergency room where doctors actually had to stop my heart because it was literally beating out of control and that's when I learned that I had a congenital heart defect um, that I had to have a procedure done to correct. And tell me a little bit about how that affected you and what you now kind of have to do to make sure you keep your heart healthy. Yeah, so growing up, I really couldn't do much in sports or physical activity. After I had a procedure done and was put on medication, there was more and more I found that I could do, and I felt better with fitness in my life, and I started to feel like I could do more things easily. Um, and then fitness just really became a big part of my life. I fell in love with it, and in 2015, I decided I wanted to bring that love and that kind of different perspective to the Charlotte community, and I opened First Wind Cycling and Fitness in South End. It's kind of cool how you went from being a kid who really couldn't do much in sports to now somebody who is a huge fitness enthusiast. Yeah. Yes, it was definitely life changing. If you had asked me when I was a kid what I was going to be when I grew up, this definitely would have been nowhere on that list. So tell me what your advice would be to other young people or even older people who have been diagnosed with heart disease. Yeah, I mean, my advice is keep going. Everybody's situation is different, but do what you can. Follow your doctor's advice, but just keep going. Any advice as far as organizations people can get involved with to help yeah, out? Absolutely. We love to partner with the American Heart Association here in Charlotte. They do a great job raising funds and supporting the community. And fitness is such an important key. I just want to hit on that one more time. Yes. Fitness is such an important key, not just for people who have been diagnosed, but also just with everybody so that you don't end up diagnosed with heart disease. Yes, absolutely. It's so good for your health. Um, it changes things in your life that you never knew you had a problem with. Yeah. Karen, thank you so much for coming out here and thank sharing you. your story. <laughs> and we want to remind you guys at home, uh, American Heart Association is raising awareness to help reduce heart disease and strokes in women this month. On Saturday from 10 till 2, Gastonia Nissan teaming up with Karen Health to offer free heart screenings for women in support of that effort. There will also be exercise, some healthy cooking demonstrations. You can find a lot more information. We have it all on our website, WCNC.com.